Hello everyone, I'm Amit. Our today's topic in Ensemble Learning Playlist is Voting Ensemble Learning. So let's start with Ensemble Learning uh, Basics. So our tagline is, let's make weak learner a strong learner. So we'll stick to this. So what is the main goal of Ensemble is to make these weak learner a strong learner. What are the weak learners? which we have learned about like linear regression, logistic regression, KVM. If you if you number it's any algorithm regression or regression or classification, these are a weak learner if they are used alone. But if you are using their combination or if you are using the ensemble learning techniques, then these algorithms makes it a stronger learner. We will we will go through each and every type of ensemble learning and then we will understand. So ensemble learning types we have already discussed voting, bagging, pasting, stacking, boosting in previous video. If you haven't done it, you can watch it again. And I'll post this once all the topic are completed. So I'll post it and I'll share in my last video so that you can read the notes on medium as well. Okay. So let's start with the voting ensemble learning. So last video we discussed about the exit poll, how they do, they contact different, different people and they get the data and they pronounce the exit poll that who will be getting this much of seat or will be winning the seat. And this, this is a, this is also called as a wisdom of crowd, right? So suppose, suppose you have trained a few classifier, each one achieving about X percent accuracy. You may have a logistic regression classifier, a SVM classifier, a K nearest neighbor classifier. As we have already read, right? Logistic regression, SVM, linear decision, K nearest neighbor, these are called weak learner. So if you combine these effort of these algorithms, it will become a strong learner. Ensemble will achieve X plus Y. Rather than using a single one, we will be using multiple different diverse algorithms so that we will get better result, right? If you are using different, different algorithm on the same data set, you will get different, different result, right? And if you combine those results, you will aggregate those results, you will get better result, okay? But it depends on the diversity among the classifiers. Again, like if you are, if you are in a room, there are people who are fan of Tom Hanks, and if you ask about the movie review, then definitely you will get only good reviews, right? So you need a diversity in algorithm. Like we are using classifier, then we need diversity in classifier. Only then our result will be better. Otherwise, it will be biased. Like they like in the previous example, if you are talking about the movie of Tom Hanks, and if you are asking a Tom Hanks fan, definitely they will say that this movie is awesome, man. You must watch. So you get the point, right? Diversity is important. Important. Even if you are talking about the exit polls, if we'll go if they will conduct the exit poll for uh, only an area which favors only one party, definitely they will get the idea that this party is going to win. So they have to run the exit poll in different, different area and different, different groups, different, different age group, different, different work environment. And only then they can, they will aggregate those results and then they can produce the best result, right? So you must understand not from this algorithm or for data science, your data is important, how you collect it and how you present it. That data is most important, not the algorithm, okay? So data is most important part for any algorithm, or you can say for even machine learning or data science. This majority vote classifier is called hard voting classifier. Somewhat surprisingly, this voting classifier often achieve a higher accuracy than the best classifier in the ensemble, right? If you have a, if you have expert of like, suppose the example of cricket, if you have an expert, if you'll ask opinion of his, and if you ask n number of people, n number of different, different people about the predictions, they will, the result of the n number uh, people predictions will be better, right? Than the individual, the expert one. The voting in simple learning will give higher accuracy if you have diversity among the classifier or regression. We already discussed this, right? In simple method, work best when predictors are as independent from one another as possible. As discussed, that if you, they are same, definitely there will be biasing. So we will not consider the biasing, right? For if you are want to achieve good result, best result. 
One way to get diverse classifier is train them using different algorithm. This increase the chance that they will make very different type of errors, improving the ensemble accuracy. So we can see the example here. Is, here we have Iris data set training and we are classifying using logistic regression, SVM classifier, decision tree, nav bias. So this is example of classification. Okay. Then we are getting the output, right? for new instances so we will combine the result we will aggregate the result of these four algorithms for that newly inst new instance and we will uh, pronounce the result and the result will be better than the individual ones okay we will verify in our code as well if all classifier are able to estimate class probability they have a predict probability method then you can tell scikit-learn to predict the class with the highest class probability average over all the individual classifier. This is called soft voting. It is often achieve higher performance than the hard voting because give more weight to high confidence vote. All you need to do is replace voting hard, voting soft, and ensure all that all the classifier can estimate the class probability. As you know that few of the classification algorithm uses the probability predict probability that that instance belong to this class, right? Using the probability, like if you take the example of logistic regression, it uses the probability and threshold is 50%. If that threshold, if the probability is more than 50%, it is it belongs to positive class. If you are talking about the binary classifier where we have only two class, it belongs to X or it does not belong to X, okay? So in that case, it will use probability. So all the all the classifier does not use uh, predict probability by default. So we need to enable it. We will definitely see in our code. So you understand, right? If you enable the probability, then you can mark this voting as a soft and it will become soft voting. So if you are using individual algorithm, result will be X. If you are using hard voting, result will be X plus Y. And if you are using soft, it will be X plus Y plus Z percentage. So it will be improved, right? We will see. So let's understand our code and understand the environment. Uh, we I'm using Zipter ID and Python version 3.7.0. I'll be using voting, class, voting classification. Voting regression will work in the same way, OK? I'm using breast cancer data set, which is having 569 observation or instances and having 30 different features, or you can say input. Data is labeled. Labeled means you have the value against all the observation. And for this tutorial, I'm not using any data transformation, data cleanup, or data pre-processing. I'm directly using the data set, what we have, OK? So data is directly used for training and test for tests of the accuracy of the classifier. So let's jump to our code and verify each and everything. So I have I have called the individual uh, classifier. So I'm using nav bias, logistic regression, SVM. So I'm using SVC classifier, decision tree classifier, and I'm using the voting. And I'll be using accuracy score from sklearn.matrix. I have uh, imported data set. From data set, we will download, we will load the breast cancer data set. I will be using uh, sklearn.model selection to import train test split, which will, which will shuffle and give you the data. Means it will give you data X and Y, X train and Y train, X test and Y test. So you can use X train and Y train for training and X tests and Y tests for validating, okay? And these two lines, import warning and warning filter and warning, ignore. So if you'll use this, it will ignore all the warnings in the code so that you can easily uh, see the codes, right? Or the outputs. So let's run it. And now I'm calling the data set. So I'm using data set, which I have already called here, data set dot load best cancer now we are in brc the data set has been stored now i'll divide it using y is equal to brc dot target and x is equal to brc dot data 
Now we can see the shape of it. You can see X, we have 569 rows and we have 30 columns and Y, we have 569 rows. Now I'll split it. So as I always prefer that select this and use shift plus cap, then you will get the information about the function. So you can directly copy it from there and you can use it like see x train x test y train y test and then x and y and you can give the test size and random state so i have given x and y x train x test y train y test and i have given x and y i haven't given so it will take 80 to 20 ratio and random state i have given 9 you can give any number random state is used to like if you are running the code again it will give the same kind of output so you will get you'll be getting the same result if you'll uh, you not use the random state it will give different values and if your data set is changed uh, your result may vary each and every time so again i am verifying the size of it all now i have created the object for logistic regression as lg svc svm classifier as sv gaussian nb uh, means nav for nav bias I have called NB and DT for decision tree classifier. Let's check the accuracy of individual. So I'll be using for loop as we already know about the Python loops. So let me brief you about this. So for CLS in this group, what are these which we have just called right LG, SV, and T. So CLS will be first in first iteration it will be LG. In second iteration it will be SV, third iteration it will be DT, and fourth iteration it will be NB. So you can suppose it is the first iteration, so it will be LG dot fit. So in logistic regression, we are fitting X train and Y train. And then what is Y pred? Logistic regression dot predict X test. So we'll be getting Y, Y pred. And we have already we have Y test already, right? Now I'm using CLS dot class dot name to print the name of the algorithm like we are using logistic regression so it will give logistic regression and now i'm using accuracy score so again select the accuracy score and shift tab you can say y true and y pred so i'm using y test and y pred let's run it so you can see logistic regression i am getting 95.8 accuracy if I'm using SVC on the same data set, so I'm getting 90%. If I'm using decision tree, I'm getting 95.80, similar to logistic decision. If I'm using name bias, I'm getting 94.4. Now I'll, now I'll use voting classifier. Select, shift and tab. So you can say estimator, voting hard, right? By default, it is hard. Even if you, if you will not mention it, it will be hard. If you want voting, to be soft, you need to mention soft. Okay. So I'm you. I'm just defining the estimator log for LG. I just given name SVC. You can give any name. It won't affect DT and B. So I have defined the estimator. Let's run it. So now I have a vote object for voting classifier. Let's check the accuracy, including vote. So I have added vote as well in the loop as we have done previous right hope this part is clear we have just added vote in it and it will give the accuracy for all five now so you can say logis logistic regression i'm getting 95.8 and if i'm using voting classifier using hard voting i'm getting 97.20 so let's change hard voting to soft voting so i have changed it to soft voting okay Again, everything is same, just voting I have changed. So let's run it. Again, I will run the loop. Oh, we got error. What is error? Predict probability is not available when probability falls. Okay. So predict probability is not enabled for all the algorithm by default. So we need, need to enable it. So we will enable it for SVM. So now for SVM, I have just enabled probability is equal to true. Now, for SVM classifier, probability has been enabled. So again, I'll call vote. And now again, I'll define the voting as a soft. Let's run it. And now again, we will come to the loop and we'll verify it. 
Okay, I will run this one. So earlier I haven't run this code, that, this line. That's why I was getting a same error because it saved the previous history, right? So again, we will run the loop. Now we can see 97.90. If we were using hard voting, the value was 97.20. If you are using soft voting, it is 97.90. So you can see that 0.7, there is a difference in hard voting and soft voting is 0.7. So voting regression work in the same way uh, as this. So you can try the code and if you have an issue, you can just, uh, you can comment or you can just drop me an email and I can help you with that, okay? So thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe my channel. I'll come back again with another video and I'll try to put more and more effort to make you stick with our channel. So thank you.